hello. Um, what's your name first? I'm John Mayfield. And um, where are you from? I live in Cambridgeshire in March. Uh, March, Cambridgeshire. I'm a member of the Wisbeach uh, Scale Model Club. Okay, awesome. Um, I've noticed this model over here. Would you just like to talk us through your process of building it? First off, the model is a 172nd scale Conqueror by OKB Gagorov. It's resin and photo etch. That must be very detailed then, yeah. Yeah, 139 bits of photo etch at that scale is pretty hard. Yeah, incredible uh, amount of effort must have gone into putting those together. Yeah, the resin, very well detailed. It's a very good kit. Example being, there's 13 parts to a wheel station. Mm. So, and it goes on there. Um, but once it's built, put it on the diorama, had an idea, because I'm ex-military, of training areas, especially in Germany. It's set in sort of late autumn, where it's wet, muddy, for the water effect, for the mud. I've used water effects, put, uh, put it into a separate container, added some dark brown um, acrylic paint, mixed it up, then just painted it on. And then from doing the ground, I've also then painted it that same effect onto the vehicle. So it's looked like it's just it's waved through, through it. Yeah. The, uh, you said you put the logs down to make it look like oh, it was, that a tr was Like it's been used by infantry. We would call it shell scrapes, where instead of digging a trench, you just down, you dig in a little bit and find any logs just to raise up so you can actually get lower into the ground to a bit of hiding. So it's just where all the infantry have been, but they've gone because the tank's there. If you don't see it, it's actually quite, quite well hidden underneath the tree. But it's there, it's there. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice little bit of detail that you've added to that. I really like it. And uh, the static grass and everything. And, it's got... and they're, in, they're almost individually put on. Wow. That, that is incredible. Just, but it's, you get long grass, and I just cut it into short bits. But then it's just a bit of PVA glue. Get it with um, tweezers, dab it in PVA glue, hold it upright for a couple of seconds, and it's done. Yeah. How long do you reckon that whole thing took the you? Oh, the, the, the vehicle I did over shows, so it could be months and months, almost a whole year doing it on, at shows, doing it, just getting it right. A bit at home, so that was quite a long time. Then there was a the modulation, and it, it went on and on. But the base took a, a week or so. The tree is wire individually, done. then all the bits and pieces was um, a bit of PVA glue stuck on PVA glue. So that's time consuming, but overall, maybe a week just to do the base. Okay. The underlaying part of it is plaster of Paris or the fine. So once that was done, I had to lend the track and actually push the vehicle in to make sure you got the track marks first mm -hmm. which is fine it's yeah. little things it's the little details that add it on definitely definitely because yeah it looks incredible thank it's you really